Hello friends and family and good afternoon from Lakeland, Florida. Today's travels bring us to the Lakeland Antique Mall, a really great place to come and visit, about 45 minutes or so from Walt Disney World, but they feature a ton of different booths, of vendors, you're going to find items that they currently sell in the Disney parks, really rare Disney pins, cast member exclusive items, and also Disney parks and resort used furniture. It's kind of like a museum slash outlet mall but before we get started if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it You can see some of the hustle and bustle of the traffic here in Lakeland, Florida, right off the highway as well, I did want to mention. Always very, very busy, but right behind me is the Lakeland Antique Mall, a very unassuming building. It literally just says Antique Mall, but they do have a great amount of parking spaces and whatnot. Coming here to the Lakeland Antique Mall though is always one of my personal favorite places to come out and vlog because they always get so much new merchandise and the selection is really incredible. That being said, let's head on in and see what we can find today. It says here, Antique Mall Vintage Furniture Home Decor and Antiques. Like I was saying, just from being outside though, you would have no clue of the amount of Disney related items they do sell. Some signage here outside Dixie Bell, 10th anniversary. Thank you for celebrating 10 years with them for your Disney uh, furniture and decor and cabinets. And look at this right off the bat, before you even go inside, from Disney's Magic Kingdom at Tomorrowland, they actually have one of the Starjet um, vehicles from the attraction. That is $35,000 for that piece of Disney history. And here's the back end of the, the uh, Starjet vehicle. You can actually see like the thrusters on the back side. And there's actually a picture right there where it shows you exactly where it was over in the Magic Kingdom. And how about this one? They do have a little turnstile. This one says, Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. And then Walt Disney World. It says, Open 1971. This is like fully restored as well, like amazing quality. And then over here is a Disneyland, uh, let's see here, that says Space Mountain. Look at that, they do have a Space Mountain ride vehicle at the Lakeland Antique Mall. But look at this, they have a bunch of big plushies on the inside. They have Bashful Dwarf. Over there we have a Winnie the Pooh. And check out the other characters in the backside. But it actually has like all the original like lap bars and the uh, speakers as well. You're even gonna find a good selection of Universal Studios props and different things here. This is from the Vault Collectibles, but from in the uh, back section here at the Lakeland Antique Mall, you have one of the huge Velociraptors. And then right over here, this is from, let's see here, Little Boo was used as part of HHN 2023 Scavenger Hunt. Now you can purchase that at the Lakeland Antique Mall. And they do have a good assortment of uh, Disney Park pins. These are all random prices, but this one here is grand opening of Shanghai uh, Disney Resort. That one's really cool with Minnie. Here's some different Splash Mountain pins as well with all the characters in front of Splash Mountain. You really never know what you're gonna find though because they have a great selection of pins. Here is yet another Splash Mountain pin. Let's see what else we got doing here. Happy Holidays 2013. This is actually from Disney's Old Key West Resort. So that's a really neat one to see. Looks like they do have a lot of Splash Mountain ones though. Justice for a Song of the South. And then the bin right next door. Look at this really fun pin with Mickey and then Donald Duck. You have a Goofy there. Look at him. He almost looks like a little Funko Pop or something with his toothers sticking out. I always like to check through the bins though and see what we can find. This is Disney Cruise Line from the uh, Disney Wonder. That is really neat from the inaugural sailings. And then over here, like they even have some Princess Tiana pins. We have uh, Ariel the Little Mermaid has her uh, facsimile signature. And check out this one with Daisy Duck celebrating 90 years. 
Also, the good stuff's always behind the glass cabinet. And look at this uh, cast member statue presented to Lawrence Berry. 15 magic magical years at the Walt Disney World Company with Cinderella Castle. You can purchase that here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. And check out the pins that they have all framed up, like the back section, 40 years of Disneyland. That one is absolutely incredible. Then over here, they have a whole like, Christmas party pin set, $248. But check out this pin set that they do have. Again, from the Happy Holidays. This is back from 2010. You get uh, seven different Disney resorts. This one over here is also really neat. It comes inside of a shadow box. It's a Disney pin set framed Happy Holidays 2004. On the other side of the case, how about this huge uh, Mickey Mouse? This is incredible, dressed up as like a Star Wars character, has the little lightsaber there at the bottom. That is an incredible statue to find here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. How about this one over here of Minnie Mouse? $795 for that, but that is seriously everything. And it looks like they're starting to get some assorted Jim Shore pieces. Like you have a Mickey Mouse with a bunch of birthday candles. You have Minnie and then Daisy enjoying some popcorn together. Even a couple down here as well. Like you have a Minnie Mouse with her graduation cap on. And how about this one of Mickey? Look at him, he's like dreaming of Minnie there with the hearts and the little cloud on top. A few other Disney pins that I do want to show you inside of the glass case. This one is Lilo and Stitch back in 2022 for the uh, 20th anniversary. That one is really, really fun. Underneath there you have the 50th anniversary pin with the uh, iridescence and then Cinderella Castle. These guys don't have prices on them in the case, but they have a lot of like really rare pins that I haven't seen before. Quite a bit of the uh, 50th anniversary ones. Check out this really large Cheshire cat pin with like the diamonds in his eyes. Then over here we have Find a Pin. That's really neat, a limited release pin with a uh, Mickey as one of the uh, Dapper Dans. Like I was saying though, this is the great thing about the Lakeland Antique Mall. That is just a little bit as soon as you come inside the Antique Mall itself. But each row is actually individually like lettered. We have uh, H, I, and J going down that section. But this is literally just all like individual booths. You never know what you're gonna find. Look at this, the uh, Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghost Statues for sale at the Lakeland Antique Mall. They are, let's see here. Oh boy, okay, so those are $40,000 for the set of three. So that is a pretty rare, like, collector's item. But this boot specifically has a ton of assorted uh, comic books. Look at the huge uh, Spider-Man up there, Spider-Man Street. Let's see what we got doing. We got some Dracula comics, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, even Fantastic Four. And of course, a whole section dedicated just to Spider-Man. The same booth over here from the uh, comic book section also has this really cool item from Universal Studios. This was also used as part of the Scarecrow Crawl. So that's a cool item used actually at Universal Orlando Resort. And they do have yet another photo op up top there of Wolverine. Let's see what we got going on over here in this section. So lots of items from the Disney outlet stores. This is your Disney Parks Lounge Fly from The Incredibles. $55 for that with Edna Mode and then all the Incredibles. Right next door is another cool Disney Parks Lounge Fly. This one has Bo Peep and then Woody on the front kind of getting lassoed in. That one is $70. But some really cool ones like this one over here is like the ruby red sequence. Actually comes with a matching pair of ears as well for $225. There's a uh, Princess Ariel, very large size Dooney and Burke bag for $350, a nice big graphic. And another statue of Mickey Mouse right underneath. This is another award for, uh, let's see here, Bill Renew, $125 for that. And they do have like these smaller size um, sequence Disney Park lounge flies. Look at them, $80 a piece, but those are so super duper sparkly. Here's a statue from Epcot with the Eiffel Tower at World Showcase with Mickey Mouse. And check out this pair of ears back there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's the Queen of Hearts ears. You never know what you're gonna find here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Here's Walt Disney Three Little Pig statue from, let's see here. Oh, that's cool, from France. Oh, that's crazy. $400 for that. 
over here they have Disney KC, a medium big fig sold as is. Okay, with the lights, that one is $45. And check out this really old like tin toy that they have of Mickey Mouse. It says Choo Choo 1954, $89 for that. Underneath there, they also have a couple like Winnie the Pooh items like this uh, fanny pack for $35. That's brand new. And then right next door is a Winnie the Pooh, Dooney and Burke bag. That's like your crossbody style for $250. Even some really fun bookends down there with Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. You really have to look everywhere though and I feel like we're just scratching the surface. How about this Disney Parks um, backpack that they do have with Figment. This is from Festival of the Arts. $125 for that. Here's a Disney Pixar lounge fly. I love the bright green. That looks really good. With uh, Rex from Toy Story. Look at all his teeth there. $250. Of course they do have a little ham um, card holder there which is really neat. Over here is a nice uh, old doll. Look at that. It's a musical doll all of Mickey Mouse and it does have its original box it says for $200 and they have a Build-A-Bear tie-dye plushie of Stitch hanging out there in the top section. I do want to check out some of the other booths and different things that they have here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Look at this from the Alice in Wonderland franchise with some really nice ones. That one's $375 so these are definitely very very highly collectible. Let's check out some of the different snow globes that they do have at this booth and they have a great selection. They have the light up, uh, let's see here, we have the Incredibles with all of the characters. One of my favorites is this one from Aladdin, like the attention to detail on the base is really nice. You have Jasmine and Aladdin on the magic carpet, even the genie's lamp there on the top, like that is really, really cool. On the back wall here though, right behind there, they actually have a ton of uh, snow globes behind the counter. This one here is uh, di from the Disney store, Princess and the Frog Snow Globe, $875. So that one is definitely a very, very rare piece. Over here we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And check out this one here with Tinkerbell, a bunch of like little snow globes with butterflies. And it has a huge statue of Tinkerbell in the center. Kind of like the uh, star on top of the tree, but that is really, really cool. Even some, uh, we got like Huey, Dewey, and Louie statues hanging out on the inside. And check out Belle from Beauty and the Beast with all of the characters there painted on her dress for $45. Even Moana's hanging out on the backside. You do have to look everywhere here at this booth specifically because you're going to find some really incredible items. Like how about this uh, telephone that they do have. This is Mickey's Dixieland Band. So it has like the old uh, dial buttons. And check that out. Like this is incredible. Like what a piece of Disney history. That is really neat. These are $110 a piece. And even more Incredibles merchandise. This is a 2004 Pixar Incredibles Collector's Red Telephone. And they actually have the original packaging for $70. This is the great thing about coming here to the Lakeland Antique Mall though. Like I said, with all the different booths scattered throughout, of course they don't all sell Disney merchandise, but that being said, they always get new merchandise in all of the time. You can kind of get lost in here. Like you, if you're looking for Disney, you probably need a good two, three hours. And holy moly, check out this booth that I just stumbled upon. It is literally all Funko Pops, like wall to wall. They have Disney related ones, non-Disney related. They have Ezra from the Haunted Mansion. Right next door, they have Madame Leota. Actually, lots of characters here from Haunted Mansion. They have a bunch of different Encanto characters. Right underneath there from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, they have Oogie Boogie, Sorcerer Stone characters. They have Arthur. And check out these ones that they have from Doug days they have Russell Carl and then Doug with a medal I don't think I've seen those ones before there's some really cool Disney princess ones they have Snow White Princess Tiana Ariel's hanging out over here and check out the huge selection of Monsters Incorporated ones. I love Soli's facial expression on that one. That is way cool. They have the Yeti, Mike Wazowski, even a really fun Minnie Mouse one. These actually are like metallic this Soli and then Minnie Mouse. 
This is what I'm saying though. I don't think I've seen this booth before and it's probably always been here, but they have a ton of assorted like signed Funko Pops, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They have the Super Shredder. Right next door underneath is uh, Diesel from WWF back in the day. That's a really cool Funko Pop, $120. They have E.T. and Elliot. That one's a glow in the dark one. It does come with certification from JSA. So that's neat. I like how they wrote E.T. and then Elliot underneath their signatures. And here's a really fun statue that they actually have over at the Disney Character Warehouse of Madame Leota. They're asking 124 here, but it does light up. It's a lamp. Under here are some a uh, little bit more rare Funko Pops compared to the ones outside. They have Gaston, Venom, they have Max from Stranger Things. This is a really cool looking like glow in the dark Funko release there of Mickey. And then right up ahead, check out some of the huge statues that they have from uh, Lilo and Stitch. Right over here, they also have uh, Bashful Dwarf. These are $450. They also have a Dopey right next door. This Mickey one might be one of my favorites though. That is pretty incredible. And some really nice signage at this Funko Pop booth. But this booth over here that literally sells a ton of different Funko Pops also has baskets upon baskets of assorted Disney pins. So always take a moment to see what they have because these are all like Disney Park ones. This is your Happy Halloween one that was just in the park for Halloween. That is really, really cool. Over here is the original Florida Orange Bird with the little uh, rubberized orange bird on the front. Let's see what else we got going on here. This is Walt Disney World uh, Marathon Weekend 2023 with Mickey and Minnie. 26.2 miles. They do have a couple different like Splash Mountain ones going on here. This one is from uh, Disney Strange World. Let's go make history. Let's actually come like right over here behind us though because I'm noticing a whole booth with a bunch of uh, lounge fly bags. They do have Disney and Universal Studios related ones. This is the Diagon Alley one that's actually sold over at Universal Studios right now at the Wizarding World for $90. The one in the back side is of uh, Madame Leota, $95 for that one, and it glows in the dark. But this section here actually has a bunch that I haven't seen before. See if we can get on in here. That one is, let's see here, Loungefly Devil Stitch for $90. And then underneath there is a really cool looking Donald Duck one. I've never seen that one before. That's really, really neat. And underneath there, they do have another Halloween Loungefly. I do believe this one glows in the dark with all the Disney characters. Also over here at the Recycling the Magic booth, check this out, they have a Splash Mountain ride vehicle with Br'er Rabbit on the front. Like you can see the little bumper, which is really awesome. Some really cool pieces of Disney history. It looks like they are repurposing this to put some uh, lithographs in here. They have, let's see here, Adventures of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, actual film cell. Oh, that's something else. Definitely very pricey at $950. But this is some really incredible pieces of uh, Disney history. This is an embroidered fashion medium stencil sketch there of uh, Mickey Mouse. And check out this old one. These are all brand new here. This is Walt Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It says an authorized book of the Walt Disney movie. Let's see, $45 for that. And check out right up here, this is a Tigger character foot cover. So this was actually worn by Tigger in the, uh, at Disneyland, Anaheim, California, it says, size large, made in the USA. Really neat how they put it though in the shadow box with the lithograph, that's $3,000. Let's actually see what we got doing elsewhere in this booth though. They have a 1970s large wooden uh, tone owl cookie jar from Country Bear Jamboree. That's really, really cool. They have a big owl, like a little piggy bank. And then right underneath there is a bunch of like really old um, lamp, table lamps here. They have Grumpy and Doc. You can see like how weathered the lampshades are and check out like the figurines at the bottom of Grumpy and Doc. But they do also have Dopey. And then right in the backside there is an old uh, teapot. Oh, that's cool. That is crazy cool of Snow White. I always like to see what's going on here in the glass case because you're going to find lots of cast member items. This is a Walt Disney World cast member first anniversary pin with the clasp, October 1972, $345. Right over here they have a happy 5th and 6th birthday for a cast member. You can tell the age of these items though. Those are $150 apiece. Here is a cast members that work the attraction Big Thunder Mountain, the Tencennial, and then the um, 10th birthday there of Walt Disney World.
<laughs> Let's continue our way down the aisles though here at the Lakeland Antique Mall and see what else we can find. Like check out this booth here. It is literally like all like old school Coca-Cola related items. Like a bunch of t-shirts, some cheese its racing banners. And again, you never know what you're going to find here. Lots of different antiques, of course, being at an antique mall. But check out that statue there in the back section. You have a Tigger. It looks like he just pounced on Winnie the Pooh. In the back section here is a bunch of assorted main attraction series plushies. It looks like they have Peter Pan's Flight, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, and then Big Thunder Mountain. These are really cool though to find these still because these are actually um, for sale at the Disney Character Warehouse outlet store. They do have some books here for the Jungle Book 2. Let's see what else we got doing. Some Lady and the Tramp plushies. Even your 2024 merchandise that they do actually sell in the parks right now. Your studded Starbucks tumblers are here. Only $40, so that's actually cheaper than in the parks and Disney Springs. And how about this pair of ears? These are also sold at uh, World of Disney right now, but you can purchase them here at the Lakeland at Tink Mall. Even more plushies. Look at this really adorable one of Stitch, like his big floppy ears. If you look closely, I actually have a bunch of hearts. He has a big rose on his chest. Even some salt and pepper shakers for the 85th anniversary of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You got Dopey and then Snow White. And here's some of the uh, Starbucks cups. This one's actually from Epcot. You have Mickey Mouse on there, Spaceship Earth. Then it has your Starbucks logo. $40 for that one. And they do also have last year's Christmas celebration, um, Disney Park Lounge Fly Ears. These are great quality though with the simulated leather, all the Christmas lights on the ears themselves though. You got Mickey and Minnie. Even I think these are from about two years ago at the Disney parks. This is a kitchen towel with the uh, little ghost there wearing the Mickey ears and then the jack-o-lantern. Always take a moment though to head a little bit further in here to the Lakeland Antique Mall because they do have a bunch of items in this back section that were used at the different Disney parks and resorts. Let's see what we got doing. Here's a huge like Mickey Christmas wreath. Tell me this isn't everything. It's like a really bright fuchsia color with the Mickey ornaments. That is something else to find in an antique mall. But all these Christmas trees and whatnot that are in this back section were all used at the assorted Disney parks and resorts. And it looks like they have a ton of assorted strands of garland here as well. And here's a ton of framed artworks that they have from Disney's All-Star Resort. Like, look at uh, Pluto there. It says All-Star with the basketball. They do have quite a bit of these on display. I can't see the price. It's a little bit further down, but it looks like only about $25. And here's even more uh, Christmas trees going on. And it does say that this one is actually from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter uh, tribute store. $195. Like these are Harry Potter trees. They're flocked and they do have all the Christmas lights. Let's see what we got doing though. Right behind us, here is a Disney original prop Coca Cola display. $95 for this. And again, used in the parks and resorts. Now for sale here at Lakeland. They even have some spinny racks here. Here's the 50th anniversary Alex and Ani bracelets with the little medallion of a Cinderella castle. A cool little item. That is $30. Then over here they have a little earring set. Look at that with Mickey and then Pluto. $3.99 though. So you will find some really good deals. Like they have some of the Disney parks, rubber ice keychains with all of the main Disney characters. Even a uh, Disney parks pin just hanging out here. It's the Mickey balloon. It says Walt Disney World. That is $7. It's kind of crazy though, literally on the opposite side of all these spinning racks is just a huge assortment of different items that were used at the Disney and Universal theme parks. It's all kind of peppered throughout here. Like here's a Halloween Horror Night sign I'm noticing in the back section with the uh, jack-o'-lantern, some more Christmas garlands, and even some random items kind of just thrown in these bins that they do have. They have a uh, Peter Pan Christmas ornament, part of the Legacy Sketchbook Series Christmas ornament. And yet another plushie. This one's from uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. They have Minnie Mouse. Actually has the Tree of Life there on her shirt. Holy moly though, do they have stuff in this other section. Lots of assorted Disney drinkware. Check this out. Even more items from the uh, theme parks. And these are very, very current. This one's from Hollywood Studios. Just like we saw the... Uh, Epcot one, that's only $19.99. Here's the uh, 50th anniversary Starbucks tumbler, $19.99 for that. It says Walt Disney World, 50th anniversary. Even a coffee mug. This one is, let's see here, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2023 with Mickey and Minnie. And check out the cool design on the backside with the Magic Kingdom. 
yeah this booth has some really fun items lots of good drinkware as well from the haunted mansion it says greetings from beyond madame leota this looks like it's iridescent almost. It says the Haunted Mansion on the backside. And here's one from Universal Orlando Resort with all the classic attractions from Jaws, E.T., you have Confrontation, $23 for that. They even have some assorted popcorn buckets going on here at the uh, Lakeland Antique Mall. Like, look at this one. Okay, so this one's actually a sipper of uh, Donald Duck from Halloween. It's the Donald Duck candy corn sipper. Looks like they've also added some racks of clothing offerings here as well. This one is from Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, this t-shirt, with Remy and Emil. Look at the t-shirt, though, with the design. You got some spoons on there, salt and pepper shakers to make up the Eiffel Tower. You have the Ratatouille recipe on the uh, backside of the shirt. And it looks like they also have that uh, women's nightgown from this past year's Halloween celebration with all the glow-in-the-dark characters. That one's $12.99. A few other shirts that I do want to show you. This one says, I believe in me on the front with this diamond design. And check out the huge graphic of Bruno at the bottom. Like, these shirts are super duper soft. And right down here, they also have some of the uh, 2023 Lionel Christmas trains here at Lakeland Antique Mall. It says the Holiday Express. And you got a bunch of the Disney characters look like they're doing some Christmas caroling. It is something though how you go through like all that Disney and Universal Studios history and then you just sort pan this way a little bit further and they have a bunch of just like your classic furniture that you would get in antique malls and different thrift stores and whatnot like your framed artworks, different hutches, they have uh, kitchen tables, even some old school bicycles there. And here's a booth with some really awesome shadow boxes that they have with the uh, Lego figurines. Like, look at this one from Star Wars Mandalorian. You have Grogu and Mando. They have Rey up there with BB-8. Look at all the different characters, though. They have Ahsoka. I like how they put, like, the backdrop in there. That looks really, really neat. Over here, we have Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Of course, one of my favorite ones has to be Mickey and Minnie in front of Cinderella Castle with the statue of Walt holding Mickey's hand. Like, that one is really unique. And yet another one down here in the bottom section. Check that out. They have a Lego one with Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley. And this booth here has a ton of assorted ears. These are the brand new uh, Baymax ears that were just released. I think these are actually like sold out at World of Disney and now they have them at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Here's yet another brand new pair of ears. These are the simulated leather ones with stitch. With the bow though, like all the flowers are embroidered. You do get the little enamel pin in the center of the bow, which is really nice. And how about this pair of ears with figment from over at Epcot? That they are so much fun. It's like little plushies there. You got Figment's wings and his horns. This booth has some really incredible items though. Like lots of different plushies. They do have some Magic Band Plus over in that direction. But these framed artworks are really nice. You have like Casey's Hot Dogs. They have It's a Small World, The Mystery Tour, and lots of different Splash Mountain and Haunted Mansion pieces. And here's a really tall lighting fixture from Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, again used in the resumes, or rooms, $279. These are massive though, you can see the Tiki God, it has all the original hardware, and the little clicker that you would step on to turn it on. That's a cool find, but there's even more lamps and different things over off to the side. Like, look at this, you have like Cruise Mickey, let's see where these were used. Oh, these are so nice and very, very heavy. Used at Disney's Yacht Club, so it has the little uh, switch here. You have Mickey wearing the uh, captain's hat with Mickey on top. Those are $250. And they do have the smaller table lamps from over at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Again, these are massive and very heavy. $280 with the uh, Tiki God, but they all come with the original lampshades, which is nice. And here is a Disney Vacation Club member, a little matted, matted print. I do also want to check out some of the framed artworks that were used in the Disney resorts. This one was used at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. It's literally like an old school picture of um, like a boardwalk. You can see the Disney's Boardwalk signage and even the Mickey hot air balloon in the upper right hand corner. That's $190 with the original frame and the mat. And then right next door is yet another one. It's all old postcards. It says to Mickey and Minnie Disneyland. 
Disneyland. This is also from Disney's Boardwalk Resort, $165. But one of my favorites has to be this one here. This one is absolutely massive. If you look closely in here, you can actually notice some different like hidden Mickeys peppered throughout in the picture, which is really incredible. These were used over at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. They do have two different offerings, yet another version a little bit further in. Like you can see Mickey being drawn out in the sand right there. And then also in the uh, right hand corner, you can see in the waves where there's a Mickey. Again, all this merchandise in the back section is from the Vault Collectibles, Disney and Universal Studios props. Underneath the signage though is literally a ton of assorted Universal Studios items. And I'm noticing some new things, kind of like right in the center. Let's see what we got here. We have the Headless Horseman. Oh, that's cool. $1,999 for that. Let's head a little bit further in though and see what we can find. A bunch of different ones. They have Scooby-Doo Monsters Villains created by Universal Studios, Dracula, $2,000. The, the prices here are definitely a little bit steep on some of the items, but you're not going to find these anywhere else. And here's some props used from the old Shrek 4D attraction, which was recently turned into Minions. You have the Iron Maiden cage, which used in the dungeon part of the ride. But if you look closely, like you can see all the spikes on the inside, like the doors. Like this is actually pretty heavy. I know this is expensive, $8,500, but some really awesome different pieces of Universal Studios history. And here's the actual three little piggies boxes that would have been used part of the pre-show before you even entered the ride they have those here at the Lakeland Antique Mall if you are looking for a little bit of a cheaper take home from the Shrek ride they do have the 3d glasses that were used on the physical ride itself they have an entire basket for only five dollars each a few other items here for Universal Halloween Horror Nights. They have the little boo zippers that were sold in the parks. It says HHN on the backside. These are $18 a piece. Let's see what else we can find here with Halloween Horror Nights. I love all the little boo merchandise. Like they had so much cool stuff. These are the plastic cups. It says Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios, and then boo a bunch of times. $16 a piece for them. But you're even going to find some of the items here from uh, Universal Mardi Gras which is right around the corner. You have the King Gator. This signage is from 2022. Let's see here, $199 for that and some more insignia from uh, the Crew Crawl for uh, Universal Orlando Resort. Steampunk Planet, it says, $189, but it has that cool medallion in the center. Some really awesome items peppered in the back section. This one's from the Haunted Mansion. It's a huge hatbox ghost um, bust. $995, that is so crazy cool. And look at all the different little boos that they have in the back section. Like you have little boo as a clown, you have one where it looks like he's ready for men in black, and even like a steampunk, steampunk little boo. Let's see what we got doing. This little boo character was used as part of Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 2023. This was actually used in Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium there at Universal City Walk. other really cool Disney take homes. They have some of the Disney resort used telephones. This was from Disney's Beach Club Resort. Actually has the room number 4592. $25 for that with all the uh, original keys. And then right next door they do have a couple from Disney's Grand Floridian. These ones are a little bit more expensive. $55 from room 8340. A few other really unique items. This was used at Disney's Animal Kingdom parade prop. This is part of the wheel covers on the Jeep. These were $95 a piece. You can actually see where the little circle is where the like the uh, bolts would go through. That's really cool. Some framed artwork from Disney's Castaway K. It says the rock here at the bottom. There's actually a little piece of the rock. These are $295 a piece. Then right over there, this one's actually from Disneyland. Looks like it has a bunch of assorted um, pins kind of peppered throughout there. Yeah, some really cool pins in there. The, that is $395 from back in uh, 1998. And then right next door is another cool framed print and it also comes with the pins. This is Disneyland 60 years art and pin set. Really neat though. You have like Mr. Toad, you have Dopey, Mickey, Chip and Dale, Mike Wazowski, and Dumbo on the top. 
$295. They must be running a deal on these all-star resort used uh, starlights. These are only $30 a piece, but they have a whole slew inside of this basket. Really neat to get actual light that was used at a Disney resort for only $30. I always like to check out the cast member awards that they do have behind these lockers. 20 magical years, you have Simba on top of Pride Rock. $395 for that one. And right underneath is an awesome award celebrating 35 years with Pinocchio, $696. One of my favorites though, this one is from 1999. It's the Partners Award of Excellence with Walt holding Mickey's hand. These all come with a nice wooden base, $1,295. Really cool photo op that they have up ahead is the uh, train vehicle. It says Disney's uh, Wilderness Lodge Railroad. You actually have a little cardboard cutout of Walt Disney himself in the uh, caboose. This is really awesome though. I like to come and take your picture with. They have a statue of director Mickey in the backside. But right underneath is a Sorcerer Mickey statue. It's pretty incredible. Fantasia Mickey cast retirement gift this was. $795 for that. And it looks like they do have some lighting in the back section. It's like uh, popcorn boxes. I do want to see where these guys are from. These are from Disney's All-Star Resort. Okay, so these are sconces that were taken out of the resort. $125 a piece. They also have a few different Disney Resort use chairs in this section. This one was from Disney's Riviera Resort, $125. This actually looks like pretty close to brand new, so that's a cool little find. And then over here from Disney's Yacht Club Resort, they do have this chair. Look at all the different like anchors. I'm kind of looking for some hidden Mickeys, but I'm not seeing any. But this one doesn't have the ottoman. It does show you where in the room that was used, $125. Always take a moment to check out the items behind the glass cases because you're going to find some really rare things. Here's a Disney Imagineer hard hat. The cast member's name was Cindy. $395 for that though. You have Sorcerer Mickey there on the back side. And then you do have an honorary Imagineer one. It has a little Sorcerer Mickey hat. $395. Let's see what we got doing in this back section. Oh, it looks like they do have a whole like little uh, statue of figment. That's really neat. And the wrapped canvas behind there with Epcot and figment looks cool. That's uh, $295. And here's a cool prop chair from back in 2016 at the Grand Floridian. It was used at the Gone Mad Tea Party. This is $895, but it comes with this really fancy chair. And then you do get the matching ottoman to this. So that's a cool piece of like Disney Grand Floridian history. I do want to check out the framed print. Let's see what we got doing. This is happiness celebration on uh, Earth Cast Appreciation Day. So you do get two different coins there, one with Tinkerbell and then Magic Kingdom, $195. And also over here from Disney's Animal Kingdom, I should say, yep, Animal Kingdom chair. Okay, so this is Disney's Animal Kingdom. They have these really fancy chairs. I love how like they're etched out there with the different patterns. Those are $85 a piece. And they even have some Disneyland signage. Some really great statues and signage that they have up ahead. They have one here with Donald Duck with 40 years. And then you have Tinkerbell with 25 years. Those are absolutely massive. I don't see prices on them. But check out some of the old like sculptures and different things that they have with Source for Mickey. You have Donald, uh, Goofy, the Mad Hatter. And that Mickey one there must be pretty old though. Like that looks like it's probably from like the 60s. Here's some framed prints that they do have of Walt Disney himself. It says Pirates of the Caribbean right there, number 177 of 500. Walt's kind of hanging out there with all the bust. This is from over in Disneyland, $325. Then you have Walt Disney flies to uh, Neverland where he's boarding the uh, vehicle. $325 for that. Again, limited to only 500 prints, so that's pretty incredible. They do have a couple other ones that I do want to show you. Let's see, Walt Talks Tiki with Josie. Oh, that's with Jose. Uh, limited to 500 pieces. It's even embossed here at the bottom, uh, Disneyland. I had such a fun time today hanging out here at Lakeland, Florida at the Lakeland Square Antique Mall. It's always a pleasure coming out, doing some Disney and Universal Studios treasure hunting. Whether you're looking for ears, lounge flies, Funko Pops, pins, Disney rare items like cast member exclusives, cast member awards, items from Disneyland, they definitely have you covered. And again, it's about a 45 minute drive from Walt Disney World. It's always worth coming out 
out here and checking out what they do have. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.